put some backing music perhaps random yeah a little bit of James Brown would be quite nice a little bit of uh, you know Sly in the Family Stone okay could do that I guess there have been some rumours around the school that you're actually um, secretly American because <laughs> you portray a sort of dislike towards them, but it might be some form of cover-up, so... Oh, I see, yes. Uh, no, uh, I, I, I do... Um, not individual Americans, and certainly no Americans at the school, uh, but the whole concept of America I, I disapprove of very strongly. And at one point I remember you, you gave us some reasons why. What well, I, I, I do remember putting about 20 to 25 reasons on the board, but the single most important reason is uh, here you have a nation um, started out by commi committing treason against uh, its, uh, its rightful um, rulers and owners, us. Um, there's obviously the slave trade, uh, the killing of John Lennon, death of Keynes. I mean, there's so, just so many reasons it'd be uh, invidious to pick out any particular one. Um, Fast okay. food. Fair enough. Eating too much. Large cars, guzzling petrol. Anyway, yes, go on. Yeah, they're a cheating cyclist. Who do you think would win in a fight between you, Mr. Madaris, and Mr. Riddick? Mr. Madaris would come first. Um, I'm not entirely sure who would come last, but I think Riddick and I would certainly be, you know, in close contention for that. See, it, it, it's interesting to me because the other people that I've asked have definitely thought that Madaris would go out first. What's this? Well, he gives us the appearance that he's uh, strong or intimidating. Yeah, uh, I've seen him in the gym. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. Um, no, it wouldn't be a good idea. So you go to the gym. Well, I've been to the gym. Not necessarily do anything in the gym. I had to have a word with uh, Adrian, but uh, Madaris was there. Was chucking a great deal of, of weight around. I mean, you know, weights, not weight, obviously. Um, what, do, what do you think of Mr. Uh, Riddick's waistcoats? Because. They've, they've attracted some comment. I, I, I really ought not to comment on them. In a good way? They're, 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 they're wonderful. They're really elegant. And they're, they're, they're a feast for the eye. A sight for sore eyes. Yeah. <laughs> um, are there any economics jokes that float around? If you... Uh, it's not a very good joke. It's actually a very poor one. That if you, if you laid... Ten economists end to end, they wouldn't reach a conclusion. That, that's it. That's that's the joke. That is the economics joke. That is the sum total of all the economics jokes. That is it. Have you had any incredibly interesting students? That Many have? incredibly interesting students. Yourself, for example, um, just to name but one. Um, who is the most interesting student I've ever taught? Um, there are many, actually. Yeah, some slightly insane ones. The legendary Paul Jeffries, who got 10 A's at A-level without doing very much work and no doubt is making millions in the city. Um, he briefly did some economics and found that one lesson was quite enough to get an A-grade. Had any that were pretty difficult to control? Uh, no, none whatsoever. Pretty pro. Yeah, in all my years uh, of, of teaching, there has never been a single student who I've had the slightest difficulty with. What is I your can, strategy? I can though? say that quite honestly. What is your strategy then? I've no idea. I don't have strategies. Uh, it's, it's a ridiculous word, strategy. It doesn't, it, do, it doesn't work. You just sort of, you know, force of character, height, loud voice. No idea whatsoever. Uh, the rapping Mr. Cowie. Oh, yeah. What, what's your in sort of thoughts on rap? It's ghastly. It's, it's not music at all. Uh, it's misspelled, obviously. They've missed off the C.